So in Gary's mod, color has always been something that to me is really important. I mean, would it really be Gary's mod without the super blue skies and the super vibrant green grass? All right, now obviously we don't get that on this map, but you'll see it on almost every YouTube thumbnail. Even I'm guilty of dabbling in it. I gotta be honest, it's kind of annoying and exhausting, but we're not gonna be talking about that stuff today. We're gonna be talking about making our own color. And that's of course with this brand new and amazing looking light warp tool. So it's pretty simple. And this mod, there's really not a whole lot to it. So we're gonna spawn a few props in, choose whatever color gradient you want, and then simply apply it to your prop. Now the thing you're gonna notice is that some props will behave better with certain colors. I mean, as you can see, we did the exact same color on each of these and it looks completely different because of the materials involved. So we got the washer machine, definitely not looking all that great. The barrel looks fine, I think. I mean, there is a, a very harsh cutoff line here. And yes, this is interesting. The color kind of moves with you. Definitely a little strange looking. But hey, that's why we have a bunch of colors to look at. So let's go ahead and try what it looks like on this stove here. And we can see now it's very awkwardly lit up. Wait, you know what? I wanna see, what does it look like in the dark? So here we have a shadowy region. Definitely not nearly as bright. In fact, with lighting on, you can't even tell that it's been colored. So that's really strange how it kind of has to be outside. All right, now we're gonna try something a bit smaller. What about this teapot here? And now we can see it, you know, it's more noticeable. I mean, hey, it's Pride Month, so yippee ki -yay. All right, let's try another color. Now this one, now I just realized this color is meant to be a harsh cutoff like that. So it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to, but this one should definitely be more of a gradient. And it does not look like that at all on this. If you guys want my opinion on what I think would be the best material to use this on, maybe these plastic pieces. So this color is supposed to be like a blue going into a sunset color. We can see the blue right here, and then I guess the sunset color is up here. Let's go ahead and try it on these things. Okay, it it looks all right on the washing machine. All right, now we got red. So on this block here, it... <laughs> okay, so it's supposed to be a dark red into like a more lighter, vibrant red. However, it's really hard to see anything other than, well red and as we can see on the vending machine here and the barrel okay on the barrel we get a bit of a gradient doesn't look all that great necessarily but it's there for sure all right now some of you might be wondering what about npcs and yes it does work on npcs although it looks kind of weird and then we have gray which oh my god odessa your eyes he's a monster no nah, i'm just kidding he's just odessa all right this one should be interesting. It's got a lot of colors. If you guys don't know, I'm building up to the best ones. I promise you, some of these look really cool. So stay tuned for that. So this one is going to be very, um... Alright, you know, it's like if you crank the contrast to the maximum, that's what you're gonna get. And on the barrel, it doesn't look all that fascinating. What about Odessa's corpse? I mean, that looks like something. Alright, let's go ahead and try the drink machine here. Once again, not a good result. On the block though, pretty cool stuff. So it's got this lighter color orange here and then gradually fades into a more darker red, which is what it's supposed to do. All right, so I really should have spawned this a long time ago, but what about this giant slab here? This should be a good representation of the color, but when it detects 3D objects, for some reason it loves to put the other colors on the opposite side, so we get the bright color here, and then the medium color here, and then the dark color here. Kind of interesting how that works. And then next up we have black and white, which really isn't all that like exciting. Like one side's black, one side's white. Ooh. What about this? This one has kind of like a greenish yellow into a purple color. Don't know why it does that, but I mean, all right, now we're getting something. This is looking kind of tight on this washing machine here. Did I say washing? Washing machine. And then over here, we could see it looks kind of cool. I like how it fades from that blue into a cyan blue. Definitely not the colors we're supposed to be getting here, but it looks cool regardless. So like I said, guys, it's going to really depend on what you pick. But now let's go into this. This is pretty cool. So... So maybe my eyes aren't working correctly, but it looks like it's lighter in this corner and then it gets darker down here. 
Probably just me because the dark color is well on the back. And I know I've been spawning in some random props and you really can use pretty much any prop you want. It's just you're going to get different results based on the prop that you choose. All right, now we're going to try the thing that all of you have been waiting for. Rainbow. And this looks absolutely sick. I don't know why, but I feel like you could put this on anything and it's going to look awesome. Especially on these cube surfaces here, because again, it's going to paint a different color on each side to give you that lovely variety. Although on this, whoa. It just looks super trippy and I really do like it. Now, what about NPCs? And it looks kind of strange, which is probably what you're looking for if you want to use this tool for something. So I know that this is a very left field kind of showcase, but I am working on something that's really, really awesome. And I think some of you guys even know what it is. I'll give you an idea. It's about space, so you know I'm going to be falling in love with it. But I thought this would be a good in-between mod to showcase until I eventually get that out and I couldn't wait another day because it's already been two days. So let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's a pretty handy tool. Uh, the colors definitely... I mean, this is pretty neat. It adds some shading. Kind of creepy though. But of course, the best thing is there's a ton of choices to choose from. So eventually you should find the gradient that you're looking for. But I would love to hear what you guys think down below. Links will be in the description as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until next time, farewell.